All right, so this is an unboxing of the Explore Scientific uh, AR102 Acromatic do Doublet. I think it's pronounced Doublet is what it's pronounced as. You can see there's a sticker right up there. It's 102 millimeters F F uh, 6.5 Acromatic optical tube. And uh, this is the silver grade um, optical tube, so I'm just going to lay that box down. And uh, unfortunately it doesn't look like it comes in the packaging that the, uh, the other ones come in. And this might be a little bit tricky to do because it's in a box within another box. And I'm recording this <laughs> with my with my one hand, so it's going to be kind of tricky getting this out of the box. Maybe I can just lift this box here up and get it out this way. Woo! Alright. So let's see, we got the accessories. Um, got the cradle for the finder scope, is what it looks like. Uh, diagonal. Here's their diagonal. Uh, it does come with a one quarter inch adapter. I'll see if we can take it out for you guys to see. If I can even get this thing out of the case. Um, it's hard to do with holding one, holding it with one hand. <laughs> that is a big diagonal is all I can tell you. That is pretty big compared to the diagonals that I'm used to using. Uh, doesn't really say anywhere where the um, oh there it is. Enhanced 99% reflective diagonal. Um, and it looks like my piece is coming out of there. Uh, I was trying to get this out of the wrapper so you guys could see what the diagonal looks like. Cause I have not seen any videos of anybody showing uh, the silver grade uh, telescope. And I wanted to do an unboxing to kind of show people, uh, kind of give them an, an ideal of what the silver grade uh, telescopes look like. It's really not that big of a deal. You know, I mean, you're you're gonna buy a brand new telescope, and chances are you're gonna get scratches on it anyway. So why not save some money and buy a silver grade um, telescope? You know, so you can get some other accessories. That is a pretty big diagonal. That's all I can tell you. That's it's got some weight to it. That's for sure. <laughs> it's not like it's not like my other diagonal that I have uh, for my GSO diagonal. This is pretty big. I can't wait to try to get some two-inch eyepieces to put in this uh, diagonal. So you can put that over there for now. Um, I'm gonna throw the diagonal back in the box here uh, for now. Uh, this is the finder scope. This is a, uh, I believe this is uh, an eight by uh, fifty finder scope. Is what this is. Um, so this here is the uh, optical tube itself, which I cannot get the box to to go up there. Um, so, yeah, these are, uh, this is the optical tube. For those of you guys that have never seen it before, uh, I'll take it out of the box and we'll see what kind of blemishes this optical tube has, if it has any at all. I'm trying to figure out, I guess I have to lift it up is the only way to get it out. Okay. So this here is the optical tube, and the, the thing on this that makes me laugh the most is how the uh, dew shield makes makes it look really big. Um, it's, it's quite funny because it looks like a, a big head and a little body is what it kind of looks like. That's what it looks like to me. Big head, a little body. <laughs> Hopefully they got a cap. Yep, they got a cap. Okay, good. Just making sure they had a cap on the, uh, the back of the optical tube, and I still got padding there and I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing out because uh, they have it they have it wrapped and it's tied on the back here so I'll probably have to uh, cut the video into two parts uh, to get this out of the wrapping so I will be right back all right so this is the AR 102 see if I can get the focus to come in there it is the uh, doublet 
AR uh, Acromatic Refractor. Uh, there's my serial number for my refractor. Um, so this is the 102 uh, millimeter refractor. Um, so far, I looked on this telescope and I don't really see any blemishes in the middle part of the optical tube. Um, unless there's a blemish maybe on the uh, the dew shield where the logo is. I haven't taken off the uh, the paper here yet. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to try um, to show you what the lens looks like. Hopefully I don't throw a bunch of dust particles because this is a dirty table so I shouldn't be doing this outside but we'll try anyways. So this here is the front part. I'm going to try to take the dew shield off if I can. It doesn't look like I'll be able to get it off with one hand, so, <laughs> All right, there we go. I had to kind of pause real quick to do this. There we go. All right, so there is the glass there. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know how well y'all can see the glass in there. Um, looks kind of okay. Uh, the only minor... Uh, defect that I can th kind of think of with it is kind of the uh, whatever this material is on the side of the optical tube. Uh, it kind of looks like it came up a little bit um, on the sides here so unless this is kind of the blemish that they talk about uh, with this, I don't know. I mean it kind of looks okay to me. Not that big of a deal. Um, interesting how the how it looks though. Anyways, I'll put the lid back on it so I don't get dust particles or dirt inside of it just yet. Alright, so I'm going to try to um, take the plastic off, or the paper wrapping off so we can get a look at the logo. Uh, which is kind of tricky to do with one hand. <laughs> Might actually have to use my knife, which I didn't want to do. Hopefully you guys can see that. Like, no, don't use the knife. I didn't cut all the way through. So I'm trying to get this paper off. The logo kind of looks like it's intact. I mean, it doesn't look like they smeared it. It doesn't look too... Too bad on this side. Uh, you guys can see that. I mean, they said there was an issue with the logos, but honestly, that logo doesn't look too bad at all on this side, at least. So there's a the logo on this side. I'll take the paper real quick. Throw it over here. So I don't know what they're talking about with blemishes. I mean, I don't notice any imperfections on this optical tube at all. Other than maybe the small parts here on the dew shield where it's kind of upraised a little bit. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not even sure if that's the normie thing or whatever. Uh, let's check out the other side. So here's the other side right here. Um, as I said, I don't notice any blemishes on the logos at all. I mean, I don't notice any any issues with the logos or color defects. I mean, I got some tape right here that's on there, some sticky adhesive. But I mean, other than that, I mean, it looks it looks like a brand new um, optical tube. I mean, it doesn't look like like a big deal to me. I mean, I can live with it. If this is this is considered <laughs> a silver grade um, for a hundred for three hundred and twenty bucks, including shipping. Uh, Man, people are spending 400 bucks on this optical tube, and it comes in this condition. I mean, you know, I mean, that's, that's pretty nice. I mean, I could do some curls with this telescope tube. <laughs> uh, it's pretty nice. I'll see if I can get some pictures of it all assembled. But yeah, that's a nice optical tube right there. I can't wait for the weather to be better to try this out. So I'm going to put everything on it real quick and uh, come back and show you it all together.
All right, so this is the Explore Scientific AR-102 doublet or doublet and it is fully assembled now. Uh, it's got a 8 by 50 uh, finder scope. So far the only blemish that I've discovered is right there. If you can see that scratch, that would be the only blemish uh, to the telescope that I could think of. Uh, I didn't do that. I discovered that myself. There's a nice scratch there on the finder scope. Uh, which isn't a big deal, I mean, because you could always go replace this finder scope with a better one. Uh, something with a uh, right angle uh, finder scope, because this might be a little bit of a pain um, to actually look into uh, when you got the telescope, you know, pointed in a direction that your head has to kind of tilt, you know. Um, definitely an interesting thing is, is I've never had a, a diagonal this big before um, it's pretty big uh, like I said on the the, the, the actual dew shield it's like a big head it's like a big head skinny body uh, I think I've seen this before on a uh, on a TV show or something like that with a uh, a monster that had like a big head and a small body or something like that uh, nice telescope though it's a nice optical tube uh, I'm sure I, th I think I have everything set correctly on this telescope. Uh, you can see there, there's the uh, brand or the uh, the model that it is, the AR-102. Um, and I just got this today, which is uh, May the 2nd, 2017. I ordered this uh, May, I ordered this on um April 20 or April 30 something like that April 30th or something like that and it came uh, today from FedEx um, I don't know when I'm gonna get to use this tube uh, I do have like a all azimuth mount uh, Star Seeker 4 go to mount I'll probably put this on right now I'm planning to attempt to save up uh, for a uh, Celestron Advanced VX mount. It's probably not the best mount to go with, but you know, for hopefully if it's about 800 bucks, it'll be worth worth an attempt to try to you know practice doing astrophotography with. Um, but yeah, I haven't noticed any other defects on this um, this telescope yet. Um, I'm sure I'll probably do worse to it. Uh, before before the month is over, uh, I imagine I would probably scratch up the diagonal <laughs> a lot um, from the screws. I hate that. I wish that they made um, screws that had rubber on them, like rubber rubber feet that would grip the plastic, that would grip the metal, so that you don't scratch the diagonal. That's one of the things that I wish that some of these manufacturers would start doing is start putting some plastic on the screw tip so it doesn't scratch our diagonal because sometimes the weight will will move the diagonal just a little bit and then you start stripping the metal on it I've had that happen with a couple of telescopes but anyways this is my feedback I know it's turned into a long video I wanted to share an unboxing of the silver grade AR012 